You guys, sometimes doing projects with your husband or your significant other, whether it's your wife, your spouse, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, you're just not on the same page about the desired results. This is the situation with my flower beds around my new garden. The man can't get my vision. So I showed him Pinterest pictures. He's like, I'm just not going to say anything about it. <laughs> you can do whatever you want, <laughs> is what I said. I know what the tone means. I'm like, okay, let's agree. Let's agree to just let me do whatever I want. So that's what we're doing today. <laughs> whatever you want. <laughs> I will tell you, it was not that sweet of a tone. Oh, honey, you can have whatever you want. It was, I'm choosing not to participate in this conversation anymore. Yeah, okay, so he wants to draw a straight line because he is can be like overly anal about things. And I'm like, more, just let's just see what nature evolves. <laughs> I said, if it will make you feel better to go out there and snap a chalk line in the yard, you feel free. <laughs> So anyway, I think I'm just going to go cut wood. Uh, okay. <laughs> We're going to grab the four-wheeler. We're going to get a bunch of wood and I'm going to see if my vision of a future flower bed can't come to life, make me happy and help him feel comfortable at the same time. <laughs> it's going to be okay. I promise. It'll be it's your <laughs> it's your flower garden. Yes. You can have it however you want. All right. See you guys out there at the wood pile. So not that long ago we had, uh, this is a, it's beautiful wood, mulberry. Not sure what it would be good for. It's pretty heavy wood, solid. Um, and the uh, electric company was out and this tree is growing over the electric lines and it had already broken once since we've lived here and uh, created quite a huge mess because it was leaning so bad. So we just had them take down almost the entire thing. Um, so Todd's actually grabbing his chainsaw. There's quite a few longer logs he's gonna chop up for me. And I've got this small pile here. I think I'm at capacity in the trailer. So I'm gonna go dump these off and I'll come back and get more. Let me show you what I'm thinking. So this landscaping, that fabric is the edge. You guys can't see, maybe you can. Let me bring it down here. All right, you see that? Yeah, that is going to be the border of my flower bed. And I'm gonna do just random sizes. Um, what Todd was wanting me to go with was just buy more two by eight boards and build a box in front. And I said, I want it to look like rustic. I want it to look old and this'll, these will last years upon years. And I said, 
Plus, this is going to create a great habitat for beneficial insects all across my the front of my garden. So we'll see how it goes. I think it's going to be pretty. Can you guys see my vision? And I got, it's just gonna, like I'm picturing over time, there's gonna be even things growing in between the logs and spilling over like flax and pretty stuff like that. We're gonna fill in some um, topsoil back there, put a cover of mulch on it, and then I'll plant in roses, sunflowers, perennial herbs. I've got sorrel, and then I'm thinking, down this side is where I'm gonna do, actually, I told you guys I was gonna plant strawberries in my green stalk. Uh-uh, this is gonna be my perennial strawberry bed and asparagus bed. So I think it's gonna be awesome. He just can't see it, but wait till it's all done. Okay, well that's load two. I'm gonna go get these set up and I've probably got two more loads. Okay, well, that's as much as I got done today. I'm gonna have to pick up this project probably in two days because it's gonna rain the next two days, but it's gonna be a good deep flower bed that I can plant some fun things. And I came in here, let me bring you guys down. As I'm turning the corner and kind of just did a fun log, this landscape fabric will get filled in and then I'll wood chip in between there. And uh, I think it's gonna be cute. It's coming right off the corner. I need to get more landscape fabric for down this side. I'm all out of, or you could use cardboard too, but I'm all out of cardboard. But I think Todd's worry about keeping a straight line. I think I'm keeping a straight, straightish line. So I need to go tuck some logs in back. I'll look at that after I get them all laid and try to get it as straight as I can.
gardening in the spring is always such a rush against thunderstorms and rain showers. So we're out here trying to get these beds filled in before the thunderstorm comes in. We're rushing quick. Just see that flash of lightning. <laughs> I hope that's coming through. Big thunder. Woo! Okay, it's here. Gotta run in. I can't finish.